Hello guys, today we're playing Forza Motorsport 4, the Essentials Edition. Basically it came with a 250 gig Xbox 360 along with a downloadable version of Skyrim. So yeah, I'm doing Xbox games now. I don't have a whole lot of them so you won't see these very often. And you won't see me playing realistic racing games very often because I'm not a terribly huge fan. Mostly because I'm not good at them. But we'll try it. I played a little bit of this, but not a lot. I guess this is the Xbox's version of Gran Turismo. We'll play a Yaris. I have a friend that has a Yaris. I never thought it'd be a car you'd race, but whatever. Oh, you get to pick your colors. I'm typically a fan of the Need for Speed arcade-like games. Um, basically, they're like burnout games now since they don't really make burnout games. But, um, yeah, I think this is supposed to be realistic. I really hope you don't have to explain anything. Looks like they're using Google Earth for this. Not really, but it kind of looks like Google Earth. But yeah, I usually like the arcade games that need for speed. Well, Criterion, I think it's the name of the company. People make the burnout games, but they're not very realistic. These realistic games like Gran Turismo 4 and um, I guess these Forza games. Although I'm not completely sure if this is a simulator or not, but I think it is. I think it depends on what difficulty you put it on. But... Um, yeah, I like the ones that are completely realistic. I think these games look like they're sterile. Everything's just neat, clean, pristine. There's barely any damage to the vehicle. Well, you got the weather. I don't know how that helps. Well, not actually, more or less the temperature, but whatever. Cars look really nice, I have to say. I do like the interior view. I don't remember what the yards looked like inside when I was driving it. Well, the sounds really nice. Well, we have arrows like the Need for Speed Shift, at least the cell phone version. I played Shift on the consoles, but I don't remember. Um, it doesn't look like I'm doing good at this one. Oh, you can rewind. Apparently, not very far though. Oh well, we're just playing for demonstration purposes, not to win. As if I had a chance. I probably picked absolutely the worst vehicle for this. The Yaris I rode in like, seemed like it was... I mean, it's not a bad car, but it just seemed like it was made just to go from point A to point B, not to race. I'm so used to playing the Need for Seed Most Wanted. Or actually Hot Pursuit, I don't have most wanted, that's the one I want. But I'm so used to pushing the Nitro button, I want to push it so bad on this. All this game has is an E-brake. I'm trying to figure out how to drift. I don't know if these cars are known for drifting, but this is more of a simulation. I guess the ultimate goal with my skill level is just to be able to see cars. That way I'm not like so far behind and being double lapped. Uh, riding on the curb. That was like when I was first learning how to drive. Every time I thought I was doing good all of a sudden the cars start rumbling. Because I was riding on the curb. Are these all Yaris's? I don't know. All the cars on those menus look the same. So this isn't the full version. This is the Essentials version. But it has like 300 cars. I don't know how many tracks. I'm just telling you what the box said. So I don't know what's in the full version. There's some damage to the cars. But it's nothing like those burnout or need for speed hot pursuit or most wanted crashes. Where your car's basically demolished and totaled. And like just if you hit like a speed bump 
What should I do, Dunjoy? Looks like we're getting some speed here. All these real realistic racing sim games are just nothing's dirty. Everything's always clean. There's not a lot of stuff going on in the background. It's very sterile. I don't know how to explain it. This is a lot like Gran Turismo. Almost in every way. It even looks like it, even though it's it's a car game or whatever, but it just feels like it. Now granted, I've only played like a demo, Gran Turismo 5, so really the last Gran Turismo I really played was 4. Of course that doesn't look good as 5, but this is, I guess, to fill the Xbox owner's fill of simulation type games. So this line's helpful as long as I can steer on it. Alright. So I didn't do nearly as bad as I thought I would. I apologize, my nose is running. Hold on. So I guess you level up. I guess it's like Gran Turismo's license system. I don't know. I don't know anything about Gran Turismo 5 beside that little demo I played when I first got the PS3. It was supposed to be like a preview of the game. Affinity. Actually, no idea. I have no idea what the Affinity Award is. So weird to think about the PlayStation 3 and how much it's changed since since it first came out. Because the interface is completely different. When it first, when I first got my PS3, the interface was like straight to the point, nothing fancy. Xbox has always been glitzy. I don't know that much about cars. See, it's sh showing me this little picture. I don't know if it needs like front wheel drive, whatever. I don't care. I'm just gonna pick one. I'll pick this one from the 80s. Kind of reminds. I'll make it black like the car and Christine. What's that stripe? <laughs> That's so 80s. I kind of want that. I'm still gonna go with black. It looks nothing like the car from Christine, but yeah, like I was saying, my allergies are bad. I'm not allergic to dog dog hair, but my. Even though it's winter time, we have the heat on, and my dog Gwen is a Labrador, and they shed so bad. And and um, we took her to PetSmart, which, if you don't know what that is, it's like a chain pet store, and they can groom your pets and stuff. And we got her groomed, we got her a new jacket and all this stuff, but her dander is still pretty bad. It's making my nose run. I, closing the door so I don't bother anybody with the sound or recording this or so I don't pick up anybody else it's making this room get extra hot and I guess it's holding in all the dust but this is what I sacrifice for art top gear challenge I'm pretty sure that's a show I don't watch it a little logo little loading logo on the bottom Reminds me of um, Portal. I can't think of what the laboratory is called offhand because I'm actually trying to think about it and playing a game, even though I'm really watching right now. But whatever. So I haven't dissed on PlayStation people. It's just a change. Oops. I want to try that again because I didn't know what I was doing. I think I'm supposed to hit those pins. I wasn't paying attention. So I only got a few Xbox games. They might accumulate in the future, but I'm strictly getting the Xbox for the games I cannot play on PlayStation or that has a better port. 
I still have trust issues with the Xbox because I was the first, one of the first adopts, adopters of a um, Xbox 360 and I got the red light at death. But I heard these slim models are better. So it depends on how long it'll last me. I've invested a lot more in my PlayStation though. I put a hard drive in it not too long ago, so if I can I'll probably get the game for PlayStation. One th negative thing I have to say about the Xbox 360 is um, I do not like the D-pad at all. And I'm not used to it. I was trying to type in my information and sign up for Xbox Live account and um, I kept on hitting all the wrong numbers and buttons. It's not very precise. They have those new controllers but I think all they do is really rotate. I don't know how, if they feel any better. Being this is a fairly new console. I mean that the console is brand new but I mean the skew on it's fairly new because I believe it's the holiday edition. I don't even know. Oh, I didn't make my score. We'll try it again. So I don't hold my head down in shame. I probably got a drift or something. I don't know. Pretty sure I picked a different car than this. Then I picked that black one, unless that was a race before. I'm trying to do my best. I figure maybe if I hit the emergency brake, it might help me out a bit. Let's see. Who would have thought bowling with a car? Maybe I'm just supposed to follow this stupid thing. I just don't feel like it hits enough when you follow the line. I don't know. It's not like I got a damn prayer anyway. Oh, that little pin doesn't want to give up. Oh, the car's getting pretty fast and a little bit uncontrollable. I didn't do too well on that. Tell me what to do, speed up. Oh, I made my target. Congratulations, me. Why don't they just show me what I get in the score? Like, do they think the build-up makes it more exciting? I don't know. I'm glad they gave me an option to skip it, though. Top Gear, Class F. Class F doesn't sound good. I don't know how they grade in other parts of the world, but an American F means you failed, but I pass. Thank you, random guy that's probably popular in some racing shit. I don't even know. I'll probably get a message. That's so-and-so in the racing district. Well, to me, it just sounds like Sir Lancelot or something is trying to tell me what to do on this game. Music soothing. I wish they had some licensed music on here. Maybe they do. I haven't heard it. Although it might have been on the title screen. I don't know. I'm rambling. 
Do I gotta drive that effing Ford again? I'm so sick of it. There's the portal logo again. I cannot believe I can't think of the name of the laboratory in portal. What's wrong with me? I mean, you feel free to send me in the messages, but once I'm done, I can just look at the portal case I have. You know, I never played portal. I'm not sure if it'd make an interesting video or not. I'll probably get to it eventually, just because eventually I, I'm going to run out of games. Well, I don't see me running out of games anytime soon. Since, you know, they make new games. Unless there's, like, gonna be a time where I'm not able to record my stuff anymore. Or I can't afford new systems. But I seriously doubt I'll cover everything. But I'll run out of PlayStation 3 games eventually, I'm sure. But I got a few, quite a few I haven't covered. It's just some make better videos than others. This is kind of 80s, like oriental music. Kind of reminds me of David Bowie's China Girl, even though it doesn't sound anything like it. They might just use maybe one of the instruments in that song. Oh, Sun Flare. This is a nice looking game despite it being sterile, but I say it's on par with Gran Turismo. I mean, I don't know Gran Turismo exactly, but if I saw two screenshots, even after playing this for a good amount of time, I couldn't tell them apart. Playing the Xbox and the PlayStation 3, like these games don't look really better in one or the other. Which makes me think, this is exclusive, but it makes me think when it comes to ports, like, both systems, if worked on long enough, probably could look exactly the same. Really the only thing I'm, I noticed that the Xbox 360 does better is the anti-aliasing. Sometimes you get a PlayStation game and they use the PlayStation anti-aliasing technique and it looks blurry as shit and I hate it. Call of Duty Black Ops when it first came out they tried that shit and it looked like Vaseline over the screen. Luckily they took it off. I would happily deal with aliasing than a blurry like game. Even on the PC first thing I'll give up is anti-aliasing to get a smoother frame rate. That's the thing I care least about. And I guess that's because I got... I don't know, I got brought up on the PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Well, I didn't really get bit brought up on it. Like My first system was an Atari 2600. But I mean like for 3D games. The weather effect's kind of relaxing. I love going to the river when the weather looks like this. I'd like to go to the river, the river now. I caught the river, the river with the W. But it's too cold out. Which is a crock. I'm actually walking distance from the river. I gotta do that. Only thing it's like walking distance, where you're really not supposed to walk. You gotta cross train tracks, and it's near this huge bridge. I better be a good photography option. But I'm going to stop here. This was um, Forza 4. Forza Racing 4? I can't remember the complete title. I just remember it's the Essentials Edition. So there's more to this game. This isn't the full edition. But for a free game, I can't complain. It's really nice. But it came with Skyrim. Which I have over the PlayStation 3. But the 360 version is better just because it has the DLC. The graphics are a little bit clearer, but don't discourage that from you trying out the PS3 version if that's your only option. The only reason why I have it for 360 is because it's free. Otherwise, I'd have it for the PlayStation 3 and be content.
I don't need the DLC. I don't play it that much, even though it's a good game. I just get super overwhelmed. But it came with a 250 gig, and I could give two shits about the Connect. My room's too small to use it anyway. But, um. Thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you next time. Sorry I paused there. Alright, guys. Bye.